know, I've showed you how to use water bottles for using for bracelets, for jewelry. What about the caps that are on the water bottles? Take a look at this project. The fun thing with this project is just collecting all the cool water bottle caps and uh, make it into this cool snake. So first thing you need to do is to collect at least 25 of the water bottle caps. Remember that the size is going to depend on the water bottle cap and also we're going to use some drinking straws. So you're going to want to first drill all 25, just take a, take a drill go down to the top and then one of them is going to have a hole on the side. This is going to be for the head. So then we're going to paint them and all I do is just use an acrylic paint and a cosmetic sponge and just dab it on and all paints will act different. Some of them will cover really good, some of them will cover a little bit uh, differently so just you know, add a couple coats letting it dry in between and when you have them all painted then just set it aside to dry that's when you have all 25 and again if you want to come back in when they're dry and put another coat on them for darker you can do that so when they're dry we want to cover them with fabric now I'm gonna, I like to do my fabric, I like to rip my fabric strips so I wasn't sure, for those of you that don't know how to just rip the fabric strips just put a little slit there in your fabric and it's about a half inch and then just rip and there you have your half inch strips and that's what's going to go on the side of each one of these now also don't feel like you have to do them all the same color on my both of my samples they're all different colors my brown one I had I had green and gold and orange and uh, just to chose the different colors of the fabric too so we're going to take and put some glue around here put my fabric strip into the glue trim it A little bit more on the end. And there you have your first piece for your snake. You're going to do all 25 of them with different fabrics on each one. And then you're going to do the one, do the one that has the side hole, put it all the way around, and then you're going to put a circle on the top, and that'll be for the head. Now for the spacer beads, you're going to want to, like I said, you're going to want to use the straws. So I cut just little pieces and they need to be a little bit bigger than the depth of the of each water bottle cap and then again all I do is put a little bit of took the glue on there and wrap the wrap the strip around like so and that's a spacer now when you have all these ready, best thing to do is to lay them out on something that, uh, like fabric, where they don't roll around, because I've kind of got these all together. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to use a beading wire. And the beading wire, this over here a little bit, the beading wire is going to be as long as the snake you want the snake to be. And then I also have a little crimp bead right there. It's just a little metal bead. It goes on the end of the wire. So I push the wire through my head. Here's my head covered and I also put two little eyeballs on it. And I'm going to crimp that bead right into place there. And I have a little bead here to hold it so it won't go through. Then I put a couple of buttons and then I just start putting on my caps 
and after each cap I put a spacer a spacer straw And you can see how the snake is starting to take shape. And when you get completely to the end, we're going to kind of pretend like this is it at the end you're again going to add all kinds of different buttons and beads in between each button you can add a bead Until you have a space probably about, oh, maybe two inches long, you have beads and buttons. You can even use spacer straws. And at the very end, again, you add one of the spacer beads, or the crimp beads. Put the crimp bead on. and just crimp it with your your crimpers. Now let me show you with my other snake here. This is the this is the one is the different pastel colors. Here we have the head, a couple beads, we have a couple the um the eyes and in between each one is a spacer bead. Spacer bead and see how they're all different colors and we got to the end here and we put a button we put a spacer bead button beads and then very end is a little crimp bead and that finished it off and it just it'll move all around and it's lots of fun because it's all different colors or you can do the brown brown tone one